Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application video tutorial series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This is tutorial number six in the series and it will show you how to access the web app and to produce monitoring reports. So the five things we'll cover are logging into the web app portal, using the website indicated, how to view and export the data, how to edit data, add additional files and print a one-touch PDF monitoring report. So the website to log into is the one indicated on the screen there. It will bring you to a different uh, screen, login screen to what you would experience with field apps. So fill in your credentials there and that will bring up the web app for you. Okay, we're going to zoom into a section here and show you how to view the different uh, data sets. So they're all available in the layers. If they're all selected, you can view any of those layers. Uh, you're able to zoom in uh, using your mouse key. At this stage, we're uh, looking at a single site there because it's filtered by the map extent. Uh, if we don't filter by the map extent, we can view all the data sets available in the monitoring app. So uh, we have a few options here. We can uh, select different uh, data sets and export them to CSV. So you can use them in Excel, for instance, or we could filter those data sets to find specific records. So for example, here we might look to filter for uh, sites that have rock fillets present. So if we just put that um, rock fillets and yes, that will display all the sites that have rock fillets uh, in the data set. Now you can change that to filter by the view extent or you can just view all the data sets available. Okay we'll just zoom out a little bit here and show you the data sets that it has selected using that filtering operation. The filtering capabilities are very powerful in this web portal. I'd encourage you to have a bit of a play with those to see how they might uh, help you to analyse the data that's collected. The next feature I'd like to show you is the editing capabilities. So if you click the right hand, very top right hand button uh, with the balloon and pencil, you will uh, see that there's a number of things you can do. For instance, create a new feature, which we are doing now on the screen. Uh, you can create that feature and then uh, once you submit it, uh, it will store all the data that you've collected. So you can actually do a collection from your desktop. Okay, all the data sets are the same as are in field maps. So you enter those, save them, and then you've got a new feature. Another way to use the editing features is to again, select the editing tool, and you can then actually select one of the existing features. So if we select this feature here, it will populate it uh, with all the data set for that feature and you can go in and change any of those attributes that you need to. So if you've made a mistake in the field, you can edit them on the web app quite easily as well. Another way to edit or view features is to simply select the segment and then click these three little buttons. You can see there's a smart editor there which will allow you to do the editing or you can view the attributes in the attribute table. So that gives you access to just the attributes that uh, apply to that segment selected. You'll notice also that there are other tabs on the attribute viewer and you can select for instance the monitoring uh, tab to see photos or you can select the photo button on the screen and then look at the photo that it uh, has stored. Okay if you close that down you'll go back to the web portal and you can simply close that box also. Okay, I'd like to show you the monitoring report function now. I'm just gonna select this feature here because I wanna get the segment ID number because that's what I'm gonna to use to print the monitoring report. So I can see the segment ID there. I now go to this little square button here up the top right and that allows me to select that segment again. So it was segment 56. I'm going to select that and then I'm gonna ask it to generate a report. I do usually zoom out a bit because it makes a better map in the report. Um, just push the PDF creation button and you can see the report gets created. It does take a little while to get that image in there, but that report now will contain all the data for that site. For this site, we've only got the initial baseline survey, which you can see the data there. Uh, if you had done a subsequent follow-up survey, it would also show that data and display all the data in those columns and also the photos sequentially. 
So you can go up the top here and print or you can just cancel out of that if you want. So that's pretty much the end of tutorial six and the end of the tutorials uh, for this series. So hopefully you've enjoyed them and learned a fair bit about the monitoring app.